Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching today. In a YouTube short that I published a few days ago, you might have saw that I was starting to play around with some vinyl wrap, experimenting if you will, with some interior trim pieces. So in that video, I highlighted that I had wrapped this handle. I didn't really care for it. Many of you didn't care for it either, so I took that off. This white strip here, which was replacing the chrome that was there, I'm okay with that. This camo that matches what's on my roof and on my hood is a very large print, so you can't really tell that that's what's going on here. So I think we're gonna take that off. And in this video, I'm going to wrap all of these chrome areas. So I've got one there, one there on the back of the console. We have the other armrest on that door there. Up front, we have this trim here. So you can see what this looks like without that camel wrap. It's just kind of a triangular pattern, really small. And then we have these bezels. We got one there. We got the two vents in the middle. We got one on the far side. We got the chrome on that door. We have these pieces on the side of the console and we have the ring around the cup holders. And I might do this little bit on the steering wheel here. Now the white that I've chose is leftover material from my wife's Escalade, so it's not a perfect match, but because the exterior white is not gonna be in contact with any of the interior white, most people won't even know that it's a, a non-matching white and that's fine. I can always peel it off and put an exact match if I had some, but this is for demonstration purposes to see if it's something you might wanna do. So let's go. Before we get started, I just want to go over a couple things. So if you want to come over closer to the door here. We could look at disassembling the door panel and then getting to these components and removing them and wrapping them individually. And yes, it would probably be a longer lasting result because the material would tuck farther in behind. And then when it's clipped into place, that would help keep it under pressure and stop it from wanting to peel back. I'm confident that we can do most of this, if not all of it without taking anything apart. So that's the way that we're gonna do this today. We're gonna to roughly cut the vinyl the shape that we need, and then we're gonna heat it up, press it in, work it into all the edges with a tool, and then we're gonna very carefully with the sharpest knife in the world, cut and remove the excess film, and just make sure all our edges are nice and heated and working properly. But I am gonna take this off first. And these test pieces were applied without taking anything apart, so you can see like they're not the easiest thing to, to find an edge and, and try and grab off. If anything, it's kind of difficult. There we go. So we're not going to use this. We're gonna leave those pieces like that. We're just gonna do these white strips for this video. So we've got uh, some basic supplies here. We got lots of leftover vinyl, as you can see. This stuff's by Avery SDW, SW900. We got our knife by Vivid. This is by far my favorite knife. And then we have a squeegee and we just have a cutter here. And we have our heat gun and we'll get to work. Let's go.
All right, you saw me get one piece done. That was this strip here, not too hard. Make sure you heat it up as you're working to make sure it sticks its best. So I'm gonna continue through the vehicle. I'll probably do most of it on time-lapse, but I wanted to point out a couple more things. So this bezel here, for example, I'm gonna do similar to the other one. It shouldn't be too hard. I should be able to get my knife in there. If I'm careful, I shouldn't nick or scratch anything. But these knobs, you're not gonna be able to wrap these. You can buy covers or sleeves that go on them, and there's some very good ones on the market. There's companies that, that make them. It's $140 US to get replacement knobs that will slide over all of these, and you can get them in a number of different colors. So maybe that's something I do down the road, but right now I'm not gonna to touch these knobs. Also, all these little tiny things that carry on the same chrome theme, like the little vent adjustments here, I'm not gonna do those. Obviously, I'm not gonna do the little rollers here on the steering wheel. I can't get in behind the plastic there to do around the uh, gauges. And then all of your switches in the main console for your, you know, your parking sensors or your uh, tailgate remote, they all have that little chrome trim on them as well, right on the bottom. I'm not gonna wrap that in vinyl, it's just too tedious. I'm just going to do these areas in the truck. That's all, nothing more, nothing less and then we'll do a grand reveal and we'll see how it looks. Okay, we got all the back areas done. We'll have a look at that a little closer later. I'm gonna focus on the front now. Remember, when I'm doing this, I'm showing you how you could apply vinyl without taking everything apart. If I really like this, then I may take the time down the road to pull every piece apart and wrap it just a little more so the, the vinyl can go around the back of the, the item I'm wrapping and then under the pressure once it's put back into place, That'll just help hold those edges that maybe have a little more tension on them. The idea is not to put a lot of tension on the edges. Anyway, we're going to continue. Get rid of this chrome, that chrome, the vents up here. This one's done, don't wanna highlight that too much. And then one more over there. And then that little piece on the steering wheel, maybe, I haven't decided. Anyway, let's keep uh, wrapping. ABC, always be cleaning.
All right, we got all the pieces covered that we wanted. Let's have a look. We got everything up front, all this thin chrome, it's all wrapped. I gotta do a little bit of post heating and tuck some edges in a little better. Um, but I just wanted to get it done so I could record it for you so you get the overall picture of what it looks like. We got the back seat area done as well. Same theme on the doors, the bezel around the back seats. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm just gonna sport it for a while. I think it gives it that sportier look, but uh, time will tell if I wanna keep it that way. But if you wanted to do it more thorough, definitely disassemble everything, wrap a little further around, and it'll hold uh, you know, for much longer. But anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time.